So welcome to our first uh, introductory lectures on the foundations of polyvagal informed therapies. I will be providing information on the scientific foundation and we will have uh, interactive dialogue with master clinician Deb Dana, who's joining us this today. And then in the second phase of this uh, uh, foundational uh, lecture series, uh, Deb will be presenting examples from her clinical work, and I will be deconstructing it from a polyvagal lens or through a polyvagal lens. And Deb and I will have dialogue about what her intentions were and what I see as being effective in changing the client state. Uh, to start with, we'll be doing a foundational talk, or I will be presenting basic principles of polyvagal theory, and we will have breaks in which we will discuss a clinician's perspective of these principles, and I will dialogue with what the underlying neurophysiological and scientific foundations are. And the question now is with this knowledge or this portal you have now as a therapist, uh, you have two different ways of going with this. One is that you inform your client about their own history. And the other one is you utilize this information in the therapeutic model of trying to move them through their different physiological states. So let me, let me learn from you for a few minutes. Well, and, and I just want to say that it was lovely to, to dive into the science because I think it is important for um, clinicians, any kind of helping professional to understand the science. And now we can um, sort of explore what, what does that mean for, for our work. So, so thank you for, for that first part. And part of what my message, if we can call it a message, is is that we haven't been privileged to really get the full story of who we are. And we've been given a, a mandate that those feelings, those biological substrates that are going through our body, we just should uh, reject them and not listen to them, not witness them, not honor them. But when we start to witness and to honor them, we start getting tremendous insights about who we are and how we can optimize our own experience and the experience of those in our lives. So to the master clinician. Well, it's, 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 it's lovely to have a conversation. I like that what you say about, you know, that we've been given a story and we need to understand because for, for me, that is where the beginning is to understand our own system first so that we can then help our clients understand their system. So I imagine as people were listening to your opening lecture, they were beginning to, to think about their own nervous system and how they respond. Um, I think um, what we begin to do is we begin to tune in. I call it befriending. We begin to tune into our responses and we begin to have a roadmap. That's what, and that's what you know, you've given us is a roadmap. And we need a roadmap. We need to understand um, where we're going and how to get back to regulation. So that's that, you know, the evolution, the hierarchy you know, helps us understand how was this nervous system created? And then dissolution helps us understand how we travel um, back and forth along that, that evolutionary timeline. So um, yes, yeah, it's, the, it's the foundational starting point, I think, for our work with, with clients is to help them understand. We have these three states that we all go through in big and small ways all the time. And um, learning to understand the emergent properties of those states and how to track them is, is where we start. Mm 